In this movie, you'll discover how to use plants as dynamic shading devices. Architects can insert plants to the ARCHICAD BIM project, and these plants can then be used as intelligent dynamic shading devices. ARCHICAD will calculate the shading intensity of the inserted plants, with the help of their leaf density corresponding to every hour of the year. For example, during the cold season, the deciduous trees don't have leaves, only branches. In the hot season, the very same trees have leaves, which act as natural shading devices. All the deciduous tree library parts of ARCHICAD will automatically be considered natural shading devices with annual hourly schedules throughout the hourly model-based solar analysis calculations. All other trees that do not change their leaf density, such as palm or pine trees, will be considered constant shading devices. Let's compare the results of solar analyses using different natural shading devices. The southeast elevation of this building has a curtain wall facade. We will run a solar analysis without adding any trees to this elevation. Then, we'll reduce the summer solar gain by adding some trees in front of this glazed elevation. First, we'll add some deciduous trees to this elevation, and then some pine trees, and investigate the results of the solar analysis. Let's display to the openings page of the Energy Model Review Palette and select all the Laboratory S thermal blocks having a southeast orientation. Let's click the right pointing arrow on top of the selected items and activate the Open Analysis option from the pop-up list to open the Solar Analysis palette. Here we can see both the sun-exposed glazed area as well as the direct solar radiation charts. All these charts represent the results of the first solar analysis having trees in front of the elevation. We will capture these charts and use these to compare the solar analyses results. Let's continue and insert some pine trees in front of the glazed southeastern elevation. We can quickly update the solar analyses charts. All we need to do is activate the Recalculate option from the pop-up menu. And in a couple of seconds, the updated charts can be displayed on the screen by clicking the Open Analysis option from the same pop-up list. Let's also capture these charts for the basis of our comparison. Finally, let's place some deciduous trees in front of the glazed elevation. We can update the solar analyses calculations the very same way as we did earlier. Let's display and capture both charts again for the comparison. Now let's compare the previously displayed results of the solar analyses calculations. Here you can see the chart displaying the performance of glazed area exposed to sunlight in all three cases. The first chart indicates the results without any trees, and here you can see the brightest yellow colors. This means that this option indicates the highest ratio of direct sunlight. Below the direct solar radiation chart, the annual integrated direct radiation is displayed. The second chart indicates the results with pine trees, providing continuous shading throughout the year. Here you can investigate almost identical results, but please note that the darker yellow colors refer to a lower ratio of direct sunlight Therefore, the annual integrated direct radiation will also be much less. The third analysis displays results having deciduous trees in front of the southeast elevation. If we compare the third chart to the first one, we can see that the summer months are also displayed by a darker yellow color, yet the winter months are displayed by an identical lighter yellow color. This is the result of the varying shading caused by the varying leaf intensity of the deciduous trees. The annual integrated direct radiation value comes in between the two previously detailed cases. Don't forget that deciduous trees provide shade in the hot summer months, helping to avoid overheating. In the winter, when the warm rays of the sun are welcome to increase the interior temperature, they let the sun shine through.